Changing gears now, things looking a little wet out there as we head into the evening. Yeah, it looks like the rain chances will be increasing Aaron here over the next 12 hours or so and tomorrow unfortunately looks a little wet for some spots, especially Tulsa to the south and east. Could be some problems for the trick or treaters yeah. out there. They have to deal with that <laughs> along with cooler temperatures moving back in eastern Oklahoma. So enjoy the mild weather while we have it. Clouds out there right now. We're still not tracking anything on radar. That'll change a bit as we move on through the afternoon. A few isolated showers will start popping up. That's all in advance of another cold front that's currently out across northwestern sections of the state. And that will continue working its way to the east through the afternoon and evening hours. So a few isolated showers here as we move through the afternoon. A little bit better chance for a few evening showers and isolated storms, mainly southeast of Tulsa as we move through the evening hours but as that cold front moves into far eastern sections of our state. Well, here's a live look at Air Comfort Solutions River Spirit Cam as we're looking at Riverside between 81st and 91st as it continues making that curve over toward 96th Street. Again, a lot of colors out there with the trees. Just a beautiful early afternoon across the area, even though we have plenty of clouds, but it's still nice and warm, 73 degrees. You notice the wind out of the south at 16 miles per hour and the humidity at 71 percent, so definitely feeling a little bit more like springtime than fall here here across eastern Oklahoma. That's going to change though as we move through the evening and overnight behind the next cold front. Temperatures here in the metro for the most part lower 70, 74 in Coweta, 72 in Inola and Broken Arrow. Also at the fairgrounds, 72 as well out in Sand Springs. Same story across southeast Kansas and all of eastern Oklahoma, generally lower 70s. Still 69 over in northwest Arkansas and the Ozarks around Rogers. And you notice north and west of the Ponca City and Stillwater area, you see as temperatures really starting to drop off in northwest Oklahoma. That's where the cold front's located at this time. Across areas of Grant and western Garfield County, that will slowly work its way to the east, passing through the Tulsa area late this afternoon through the early evening hours. Winds have been brisk out there. Here's a look at some of the current wind gusts. Anywhere from about 15 to as high as 30 mile per hour wind gusts. We have a 26 mile per hour gust right now here in the city. 29 mile per hour wind gust down in Muskogee. And these are south winds at this time. But you notice out across northwest Oklahoma already seeing gusty north winds behind that front. And as the front pushes on through, we'll see our winds shift around to the north at 10 to 20 miles per hour and some higher gusts than that through the evening and overnight. Behind that front, temperatures drop back into the 50s, so much cooler. And so this area that we're seeing across western and central Kansas today, that's going to be in eastern Oklahoma for tomorrow as temperatures tomorrow afternoon are only going to run in the mid 50s. So much cooler tomorrow compared to where we are at this time. Future track, a good handle on that as we move through the afternoon hours. You notice the front moving into the Tulsa area around 5, 6 o'clock this evening. A few scattered showers possible in advance of the front, generally east and southeast of the Tulsa area. Chance for rain drops off as you move to the northwest. As that front moves to the southeast, some additional showers and isolated storms possible in east, central, and south. Southeast Oklahoma. We do not expect any severe weather with any thunderstorms that would occur. And through the overnight hours, most of the rain far east, central, and southeast Oklahoma near the front. We'll just see gusty north winds and much cooler temperatures moving into eastern Oklahoma. So for the rest of the day, you notice higher chances for a little bit of rainfall east of Tulsa and amounts should be relatively light as we move through the overnight. But into the day tomorrow, more rain will be expected, especially across east, central, and southeast Oklahoma. Some places could pick up one to two inches of rainfall, lesser amounts of rainfall off to the northwest. But here in Tulsa, so through the day tomorrow, we still could see some light rain off and on throughout the day. Highs today generally in the mid 70s, so a nice afternoon, but behind the front tonight, temperatures dropping into the upper 40s to low 50s here in northeast Oklahoma. A little warmer for you folks in the far southeastern sections of the state. So after 76 today, only 56 for tomorrow. Good chance of rain. Isolated storms not out of the question tomorrow, but again, no severe weather is expected with any of this activity. We'll stay cool on Thursday. Still a slight opportunity for showers, otherwise just cloudy on Thursday. Finally, some sunshine Friday. Saturday looking good at this point. Then another chance for rain moving in Sunday and Monday. So we're going to have to watch it very closely, Aaron, tomorrow. But it does look like a cool, damp evening for the kids out there trick or treat. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. But if they were anything like me, I was getting my candy. Yeah, it didn't matter yeah, if it was it, snowing, it raining, did, it did 100 mile per hour winds. My poor parents. All right. And we bless all of you who are going out. <laughs> yes, indeed. You know? All right. Thanks, Dad. And as